this is Chelsea, the Fiber Enchantress, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pick wool. If you look here, I have a fleece that has been washed, but this particular sheep did not have a coat on. A lot of the wild woods ended up in her fleece. As you can see here, there's a lot of bit of it with bits of hay and twigs. I have found small insects that get trapped inside the wool, which when it's on the animal, that is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to prevent all of this stuff from ending up close to their skin where it can cause irritation and other health problems. But since this is no longer on a sheep, we can now remove all this vegetable matter. And that is where picking comes in. There are a variety of tools that you can use for picking. These are the handful of the tools that I use. My go-to flicking tool is actually this Louette flicker brush. And I have to be very careful with this because it actually has very sharp tines. There has been many occasions where I have accidentally caught my hand and it usually comes back bloody. I use this tool with a piece of deer hide to prevent it from ripping up my clothes. If you don't happen to have a flicker brush like this one, you can also use dog brushes. So this one has been fairly useful. It has the bent tine teeth similar to the flicker brush. However, it is not sharp because it's used for a dog, so it's not sharp, but it is usable. This is a yellow dog one. Of course, I am very much invested in processing my own fleeces, so I have invested in buying a wool picker. This is a box wool picker, and it works. Let me open it up here. So ugh, inside are these very sharp nails that have been sharpened. So they're prickly and sharp. This other side also has nails. And they're angled in a way that as you use it, it opens up the fibers and actually the fiber goes from one end through the teeth and out the other side. So those are the tools that we use for getting the junk out of our fluff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm first gonna show you how I use my Louette Flicker. What I do is I'll actually take my deer hide and actually put it onto my lap to keep it from getting caught. I'll grab a bit of fleece. This is a particularly dirty one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold on to the cut end. And you can tell which one end is the cut end because it'll be the cleaner end. So I'm going to hold that between my thumb and forefinger, like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flicker brush and I'm actually only going to use this top row of teeth right here. And we're going to just gently flick all the junk out. And you can see it just kind of raining down. I'm going to do this until most of it is out. and all the tips are fluffed out. There we go. So now it's all open and has air in it and it's nice and fluffy. So now I'm gonna take it in my hand, other hand, I'm gonna hold these tips and we're gonna actually do the other side as well. When you wash a fleece, oftentimes this cut end will actually mat up or felt ever so slightly. 
There'll also be like teeny tiny little second cuts that will get stuck in this end and flicking actually helps get rid of those. So if you're spinning, you don't end up with those little nubbly bits inside your, your finished yarn. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and take the flicker brush and just using those four, a couple of times, I'm just gonna hit that, hit those tips. Like so. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Another way that I've found to use this brush, hence why I have this deer hide, is I'll actually, you can actually take it holding onto the, the cut end again, just like before, and I'll actually brush it like that. And that's how this helps prevent my jeans, skirt, apron, legs from getting all tore up. And then it's just like before, I'll take and flip it. So I'm cut, doing the cut end as well. That method tends to go a little quicker. And then see that is again, ready to be processed. Now I'm gonna show you how I use the dog brush. It's going to be fairly similar to how we use the flicker brush where I'm going to hold it just like before hold the cut, holding the cut end first leaving the tip sitting out and I'm just gonna again hit the top the nice thing with this particular brush is that I don't have to worry about accidentally hitting my hands and causing some wounds because it it's gonna doesn't hurt as much as the very sharp flicker brush and I flip it over just like before and same same idea pat 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 and then you get a nice clean fiber all right wool picker time so I'm gonna open this guy up this wool picker has a direction that you have to follow I know which direction the fiber is going to move based on this notch that's here in the wood. Let me pull this guy out and show you. So this particular wool picker maker put a notch here to let me know that this is front and this side that doesn't have a notch is the back. So I want to make sure I put my fleece or my fibers in with the notch. I'm going to set this guy down. Make sure my rollers work because sometimes they get stuck. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some of my fibers and I'm just going to kind of set them close to this row of teeth. And I'm going to put too much in because I don't want to overload it. You can't accidentally overload it. So like there's a handful there like so. And I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the handle. And I'm going to do a few long strokes, and then I'm going to start doing some short strokes, and then long strokes. And as you can see, it's starting to work its way from one end to the other. When you do the long passes, it actually will transfer it to the other teeth and actually start to kick out the fiber. There, that looks good. See? Nice and clean, nice and fluffy. After a few passes, oh, that's really nice. After a few passes, I will actually pick this up, remove any of the fiber that's left. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of vegetable matter down here. And I will actually use my vacuum cleaner to remove these, to get rid of these. It's gonna be loud.
and we're ready to go for round two. Now one thing I do want to say with the wool picker is that it doesn't necessarily get rid of your second cuts. So if you look here, that is a second cut. It's a very short little nubbly bit of fiber. And unlike with the flicker where it's able to catch these little guys, the wool picker doesn't do that. But it does open it up and make them very obvious to see inside your view fleece. If I hold this open, hold this up, maybe you can see them. Pick that little guy out. But so you can actually kind of find the bits of fiber that you might not necessarily want and you'll have to be picky. Well, this is picking, so you have to be picky and you get to pick them out like that guy. That guy you don't want in there. So we're gonna pick them out. Yeah, and that's how you use a wool picker. There you are, three methods of how to pick wool. And as you can see here, here's our finished product soft and fluffy fiber big difference compared to what it originally looked like still dirty still looks like it came off of an animal and this is now ready for the next process so thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to explore more of the magical world of fiber please subscribe thank you yay floof